You gotta keep the fingers up and aim that knife downward. And cut him in half. Isn't that pretty? Well done. I stand. To me, food is the gateway of personal choices that determine planetary health and human health. Thank you. My name is Craig Shelton. I'm a chef for many years, and I'm also co-teaching this freshman seminar, Science, Society, and Dinner. Students taking freshman seminar are exposed to a diversity of issues related to the global food system and the sustainability of our agriculture, while at the same time also learning basic skills about cooking and preparing food. My name is Kelly Kaler. I'm a co-instructor of the freshman seminar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Our lectures are really designed to cover the breadth of the academic experiences at Princeton University. So we have people talking about economics, about ethics, about the environment, about the biology, and about the physiology of food. They now have a set of principles of how to optimize, how to waste less, how to make it go further. We talk about the idea of cuisine as not really recipes. The recipes tend to contain everything that's not important and omit everything that is important. If I say, for example, recipe calls for four ounces of salmon. Well, what salmon? There are six or seven species of salmon. What time of year? When it's just before breeding, the flesh might be very fatty, and immediately after breeding, the fish is entirely lean. Which part of the body? And what are we going to do in our approach? The idea of having a class like this is really to try a new angle into teaching science. This carrot is a bunch of cellulose with sugar syrup almost in the middle of it. We try to explain to people that a starch is just like a, a necklace of pearls, with pearls representing you know, sugar molecules strung together. Part of what we're doing is to snip those pearls apart. In a long strand like that, they don't have a lot of flavor. You can use heat, chemistry, that can break them down into their constituent sugars, and the more time you cook it, the more sweet it becomes. On a typical class day, we'd have a lecture about the topic of the day, and then they would either be conducting a laboratory where they're doing some physiological or direct experimental uh, approaches to quantifying aspects of cooking, or they would be preparing a meal, at the end of which we would sit down together as a group and we would have a conversation with one of our visiting lecturers. So basically, we eat across the tree of life. But one of the interesting things is the question of, of where we get most of our protein, and in particular, what proportion of our diets come from the vertebrates. On that particular night, we're making a communal salad with foods from all over the world. So Professor Wilco was trying to show them this amazing biodiversity that you could have in a single plate of food. There's really nothing more personal than the choice of what you're going to eat. We actually find that by bringing science into the kitchen, we're able to engage them at a level that gets them to where we want them to be in terms of developing real experimental procedures and doing analysis and investigation, but doing it in a context that's much more familiar. I also think of it as just a fundamental way of observing the world and interpreting life in this planet.